Hello guys, today I am going to show you one of the basic operations of Android to perform when some application is not working well, giving us errors and closing suddenly. This operation is essentially like the restart we do in Windows when there is a problem. It consists of deleting the temporary data of the app and the cache. So we go to settings. In all Android devices, you can do this. There may be some small variation in the name of the settings, but in the main settings, there is the voice applications or app on my pixel where all the applications are shown. This process helps in resolving issues and improving app performance. By pressing the three dots in the top right corner, you can also display the system ones, which are often the ones where we need to go to operate. You enter the app and clean the data. Another method to access it is through multitasking, for instance. Here it is. If we hold down on the application icon, app information, here it is. And this is the location we need to go to. In this section, I reiterate, it may be slightly different on certain other Android phones, but on iPixel, we come across storage space and cache that we can access. And inside, we can only empty the cache, which contains temporary data that is utilized, those that are used. And then there is another button for the stored data, which are instead the data that we have entered in the application. Our data, uh, naturally, what is the fear or concern in this particular situation? If I delete data and cache, then I lose things. Essentially, we tend not to lose anything, especially, for example, for all Google applications. If I delete data and cache of the Gmail application, I will simply lose the account configuration. Let's say some small options, maybe. But as soon as I reopen Gmail, it recovers. In short, it recovers all the messages. We find everything again, same thing for Google Photos or essentially for any application at most, it will ask us to re-enter the account. Of course, if we talk about applications that store data locally and are not synchronized for the web, I do not know. The fantasy football application, for example, which stores files locally with all the results, in that case, it is better to check if you can first make a backup or if you can save that file, because by deleting data and cache of the application, you could also delete that file. If I do it now, for example, for the settings app, or we often recommend doing it for the Google app when there is a problem, or for the Android system intelligence app, you can delete without any problems, do not worry. When you reopen the app, it will download everything it needs. I will show you what actually happens when we delete the cache, which are, I repeat, temporary data and delete stored data, which are the data where our personal data can also be stored. Here in this case, an alert comes out, a warning because it says in short that some app settings could be lost. The files inserted inside are worth the clarifications I made before. The fantasy football app is better that we pay attention. Gmail, Google Drive, the Amazon app, all the apps synchronized online, Netflix. There is absolutely no danger of losing anything. At most, you will have to re-enter username and password when restarting the application. As always, this is all. In fact, wait until we finish deleting the data. Here it is. Of course, the application has also closed, so it has returned to the car. This is all for today, as always, if you find my videos useful, funny, entertaining. Subscribe to the channel, leave me some likes and recommend it to your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye, guys.